Hello, today is the first day of October 2012, start of the quarter as well, and it looks today as if we may be having that of a breakout session, and it's already showing that the volatility is large, and we'll take a look at the short-term two-minute chart momentarily. About a five-day period within this uh, 18 average of bands, after it already had a few more days just going sideways. It established a resistance point uh, a few pennies uh, above the uh, 35 level, which was uh, touched on multiple occasions today, of course. It has taken that out with a high thus far of 35.40. If you're looking at the futures chart, there's a pretty significant sizable difference of over a dime, I think, between the two, but it's pretty much the same looking at the future price versus the XAG slash USD, which is the one that I am following. Okay, so I've already talked about this possible failed breakdown, which looks to be setting up this play. Now let's take a look at this on a two-minute time frame as of a 10, 19 a.m. or 14, 19 Greenwich time. Just low volatile movement, maybe normal volatility, trading within basically a third of a percent of a range. So yeah, pretty much normal. And then it uh, just skyrockets, pretty much a dollar in a short period of time. Those who think the first time you hit these bands, like a Bollinger Band, that it's just time, that it's got to, it's, it's oversold, it can't go higher. Well, it hit the band originally here. And then it just rolled the band for several periods all the way up, pretty much a dollar, which is very normal to have those very big surges, both really up and down. If, of course, breaking the support that you felt this was a decent time to buy, many times it works, sometimes it doesn't. In fact, whether you played your stop in here on the short-term game, hugely short-term, or even just barely below this line, well... You got hit. Stopped out, that is. Of course, buying here, well, that all depends on how you play it. After all, point A to point B, this was about 61.8% in here. And then what has occurred since this point is it went down to 80. And then back up where I pretty much do in this video, up to about uh, 34, 80 something. Or 90 even. So... It's showing uh, a lot of volatility. Most likely this thing is going to break out to the upside as, again, the daily chart is showing the signs of the breakout. And the levels for it, it's not just about a 10, 20 cent break. You would expect this thing to uh, hit the next level, which would be at least the next number above its psychological number of 36. And uh, yeah, so that'll be uh, it for this morning's video and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.